Pants. Two shoes go. Mm -hmm. A little further on down the road, the little old lady came across a pair of pants. And the pants went, get out of my way, you pair of pants. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady. And I'm here. And off she went, but behind her, she could hear. Two shoes go. Two shoes go. Come. And one pair of pants go. Wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> This is what it is with the toddler. You have to memorize uh -huh. books, uh -huh. <laughs> all the books. Uh -huh. A little further on, the little lady came across a shirt. And the shirt went, Thanks, get out of my way, you shirt. I'm not afraid of you, so the old lady. But behind her, she could hear. Clomp, clomp. Wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go. <laughs> you guys, it is absolutely beautiful out here today. Blue skies, no clouds, not windy, and sunny. It's supposed to get to a high of 55. We're going to go on a family walk after nap time today. And it is beautiful. We are out here while Porter is sleeping. He's sleeping in that room there. Anthony's working in the kitchen. And we are loving this warm weather. It feels like, it truly feels like spring today. And Gray is making me recite books. Right now we are doing The Little Old Lady Who Is Not Afraid of Anything. It's a really cute book. I recommend it. Especially if your kids like repetition. That's what this book has, which makes it very easy to memorize. Speaking of books, I was just thinking, I saw an article that said that they're gonna stop making five of the Dr. Seuss books because um, apparently they're racist, I guess. What are your guys' thoughts on that? Leave a comment down below. We actually have one of the books that's getting discontinued and to think I saw it on Mulberry Street. So it's kind of interesting. And more interestingly is people are selling their copies on eBay and they're going for thousands of dollars because now these books are like a rarity. So, I mean, I guess maybe if we held on to it long enough, we could make a good price off of it. I don't know. Um, we actually got it from my grandma who had it just in her basement. Like, with, she just has a bunch of books for little kids to read. And so I went and took, Gray loves Dr. Seuss books. So I took some and that was one of them. So kind of interesting. But anyway, yeah, we're just hanging out. It's beautiful outside. I can totally tell my mood shifts on days that it's cold and we don't go outside. I'm more sad and um, just not happy. And then on days like today where it's sunny and we get outside and it feels like spring and I think of summer, like my whole mood just lightens and I'm just so much more happier. I just don't feel like I could ever move any more north than what we are. If we ever did move, we'd have to move south because the cold weather just makes me so depressed. Um, you know, they say there's seasonal, seasonal, seasonal depression. And I feel like I get that because I hate being cooped up in the house, especially with two kids. I just go crazy. And COVID doesn't help either because we can't go anywhere <laughs> inside. I feel so good today because of the warm weather. Do you hear an airplane? He's going to the airport. Found a stick on the ground and I'm totally gonna use it. All this power in my head and now I can't wait to abuse it. I don't know the lyrics. I love sticks. Can you tell I watch TikTok? He, every time he finds a stick now, he says found a, and then I have to sing the song. Found a stick on the ground and now I'm gonna use it. All this power that I have and I'm totally gonna abuse it. I love sticks. I don't know the lyrics, so I kind of just made it up. <laughs> it's what you do as a as a mom. You just make it up. Found a stick on the ground, and now I'm gonna use it. In the light of the moon. A little egg land on a leaf. A little egg land on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! I guess the egg can make honey and 
Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started, he started to look for some food. On Monday he ate one apple. On Monday he ate through one apple. He was still hungry. He was still hungry. We're at the park, at the school. We're first time back since like October. What do you think, Snooter? Are you so happy? He's trying to grab the phone. <gasps> One day he'll be on this. What are you doing, Gray? We've got the whole place to ourselves. <laughs> You can talk. What are you doing? Are you looking out the window? That's so silly. That's a big rock wall. Yeah, that's a tall one. That's for big kids. Bungos. Bungos. Yeah, it's Bungos. Look at this big boy sitting up. He wants to get the, the camera. He will sit up now, you guys. Look at that. He does pretty good. I sit behind him because he does topple over, but he's doing really good and he's just happy. I've got a bunch of toys here. And he's just playing with them. Getting so big. He'll be six months in like two weeks. A little less than two weeks. And Grayson's singing. We are back from our walk. It was super nice out and we had fun at the park. And I am exhausted. I'm always exhausted after going on a walk. It's like a two mile walk that we take. So, And the boys were really, really good. They... Um, just hung out and didn't cry and fuss and when they said it was time to go home, we went home. So it was really nice. Look at him, you guys, just sitting there. He's doing pretty good. The playroom is a mess. Who wants to come clean it? <laughs> Those are your flashcards. So my sister Allison saw these animal flashcards at the dollar spot in Target, which I need to go to Target and go to the dollar spot because I need some more Easter basket ideas. They're really awesome. They have the animal on one side and then the spelling on the back. And so it just teaches them how to spell. Which one do you want to do? He's really good at them. Although he does sometimes get his B's and his D's mixed up. You're okay, buddy. He's like, eh, I'm getting over this. You want the doggy? He likes this dog and to chew on his legs. I think that's fun. He's like throwing them all out. A caterpillar. Oh, surprise, surprise. He loves a the caterpillar. caterpillar. A caterpillar. How do you spell caterpillar? How do you spell caterpillar? C-A-T-E-R-P-I-L-L-E-A-O. What does that spell? Caterpillar. That's right, caterpillar. Good job. Yeah, so he really likes these flashcards, and they were only a dollar. Elephant. An elephant. How do you spell elephant? E I E H P H E A N T. <laughs> what does that spell? Elephant! I love how he has to look at it again. Like, wait, what am I spelling? B. B. How do you spell B? B E E. B E E. What does that spell? B. B. Yeah, so we, this was a hit. He really likes these. No. And look at this guy. He's just sitting. No. Trying to get Chase. No. No. Oh, a mouse. How do you spell mouse? What does that spell? Meow. Yay! Good job. 